Hello everyone, welcome back. We are going to do a Try Hack Me walkthrough. This room is called Corridor. I completed it this morning and I just wanted to show everybody my own walkthrough to how to get this done. Now, let's just dive right into it. I do have everything kind of set up that I already need in this Kelly VM here. Um, I've already logged in. I have started the machine. So you can see this is the host that we'll be working with. It expires in six minutes. The, which is a problem. Let me try and add more time on. All right, that worked. I wasn't sure because this account is not a premium account, but I was able to add an hour on. Anyway, all right, back to what we have going on here. I already created a directory for this too to keep all our files organized. Um, here we go. So the title and description always gives us hints. So here it says you found yourself in a strange corridor find your way back to where you came from. And then it says in this challenge, you will be exploring potential. I don't know if it's IDOR or people just say IDOR vulnerabilities. Um, examine the URL endpoints that uh, you have access to and uh, navigate the website. Note the hexadecimal values you find. Um, they look a lot like hashes. And can we undercover, undercover, <laughs> can we uncover some areas of this website that we were not supposed to have access to? So the first thing that I want to do is just kind of see what ports are open. And we're going to do that by running a basic Nmap scan. So let's just do um, that scan and kind of see what comes up here. I don't do a lot of fancy stuff with the scan. Um, there are a ton of flags that you can use. I just like the basic info for right now. Not too much, just enough for me to see like what kind of ports are open and what can we do with those ports or what maybe version those um, ports are running in the back end. So we'll wait for this to complete and then we'll go from there. Like I said, while we're running that, this gives us a lot of hints. So we're going to be able to see like the URL endpoints. We're going to be able to see that they are hexadecimal values, but they look like hashes. So we'll probably need to identify that hash. And then we're going to try and uncover um, some locations. So always kind of take note for what is happening in the description because the description is usually full of hints. So the MAP scan is done and here we can see that we really only have uh, TCP port 80 open. So let's just navigate to that and see what we can uncover. Uh, and I need to get another keyboard, but that is fine. Okay. Let's just see. And here, it is basically just a room, um, but it's a picture, right? So there's nothing really crazy going on. Uh, you could do like an inspect and see kind of what uh, we find in here. Uh, it just looks like it's a static image and it gives us like a file path. Um, and it has, um, it's using an image map. So let's see if we can explore these doors. The first thing that I want to do is just like click on one. Um, and it takes us to just an empty room here. You can see though, here's where one of those endpoints comes up where it is saying, if we remember the description that these look a lot like hashes. So let's see if we can find out what type of hash this is. I don't think the room's gonna give us too much. Um, let's see, identify. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think it's hash identifier hash. There we go, okay. Let's open it, we'll copy and paste the hash. And it looks like it is an MD5 hash. So now we know that we're potentially working with MD5 hashes here. 
let's go back and see if we can click on some of these other doors and if you look okay so i'm going to click on that one we have a different md5 hash here let's just figure out what um this is there's a couple ways that you can uh try and uh dehash that so or decrypt i just like to do like uh MD5 hashes. I just Google it and then it'll, you'll, it'll pull up one of these. I'm sure you can do it in the command line too. Whatever way you prefer. I just think this is like a quick, easy way for me to do it. I'll just copy that hash into here. And then when this is done loading, hopefully we could <laughs> decrypt it. But let me see if I can find a different one because that one's taking too long. Okay. Decrypt. So it looks like the hash, it, hash is just two. Let's find out what the original one we had is. And we will check this one and see what that can give us here. So. Uh, so many ads. You should, it's honestly probably better for you to do this in the command line. Uh, because there's so much spam. Okay, that's one. All right, so we can see a pattern starting to form here where each door could be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's just assume that these doors all are just numbered and potentially we're gonna try and find a door number that isn't in this photo that we can try to navigate to. There's a couple different ways you can do that. What I personally did was I wrote a basic uh, Python script and it is not great. I'm not a great coder to be completely honest, um, but I wanted to like take this as an opportunity to try a little bit um, because I knew this would be kind of basic um, and it's been a while since I've really used any Python. So I will show you uh, this script and it is on my GitHub. So I will link that in the description, but I will show you what it basically looks like here. Um, I just did a number range, one through 100. I created an empty list here and basically said for every X and num, so every number and num, it's going to hash um, that into MD5 and it will append it to this hashes list and then it'll print that out into a file. So let's just go ahead and run it. And this is just gonna give us a list of a numbers one through a hundred, but they will be hashed in MD5. So this is the way that I did it. I'm curious to see other people's uh, write-ups because I wanna see how they did it. And maybe you did it a little bit differently or maybe you're stuck and you're here. So I ran that Python script and it printed hash incomplete. Let's just make sure we have the file here, hash dump.txt, perfect. Now, the next thing you can do is use what I would probably recommend doing is using burp because um, burp allows you to kind of feed that list in through those hashes um, and it'll give you a status code if that was successful or if it was not found. I am running this VM on an M1 Mac and burp, I cannot get it to work on here. So yes, the M1 Mac definitely does have some issues with virtualization um, and running these programs. So hopefully they will eventually update that and I can use burp in this VM. But if you are running into the same issue as I am, there's other tools that you can use that will also do this type of fuzzing. We're gonna use wfuzz and I'm gonna give it a word list. The word list is just this hash, um, dot, hash dump dot text file. Um, we're gonna feed it that and then we are going to give it the uh, URL, which is just the IP address. And then at the end where we're gonna want to add each one of those hashes, I am writing fuzz. And then I am going to actually change it because you can run into some issues because this just fires off these requests very quickly um, and it 
you might have some conflicting information if it was successful or not. Okay, great. So this is done. We can kind of take a look here and in this column, we're already seeing some error um, 404, which means that is not found. Um, and you know, when I was originally doing this, I was kind of hoping like, oh, you know, um, I'll maybe I'll hit a number or a door that I that is in this list. And ultimately, by the time this was all done, I did not find the door. I got the original ones here that we have. So up to this one down here. So 14. And all of these were 200, which means that web page was found. Um, but then after that, I just kind of only had 404s, which wasn't great. And then I was scratching my head thinking like, okay, dang, like I wrote that whole Python script for nothing. Um, but it wasn't for nothing. I definitely learned a lot. It's great. But when you're doing the range, so if you look at our original Python script here, um, the range I put to 101, so that'll go to 100. The range starts at one. It doesn't start at zero. So I was thinking like maybe it's a negative number, um, but then I also realized, okay, I didn't try zero. So what I ended up doing was just finding the hash for zero. And I was like, okay, if I find the hash for zero, I'll try that. And if that doesn't work, then I guess I might be able to try negatives. I wasn't sure. So um, I found the hash for zero. So let's put that in here. I am going to go back to our little thing here and I'm just going to put in zero and encrypt it while this is already up. So let's copy this and we will try it. So I'm just gonna slash, here we go. And that is how I got the flag for this specific room and try hack me corridor. Um, we can take this flag here and we will copy it in and get the points. I got comments that I didn't do this on the last time, <laughs> but there we go. We were able to find that. And that was a fun room to do. Um, there wasn't, it, it, there wasn't a ton of steps, but I learned a lot through it. Hopefully you learned a lot too. Um, and it was just like great, like fun little tasks to do. All right. So that is the end of this room. I will post some more in the future once I figure them out and I'll definitely watch other people's, uh, you know, their write-ups just because I like to see what other people are doing and how they did it. If it was different than what I did, probably. <laughs> um, they probably did it a lot quicker than I did, but ultimately I think it was great. I sharpened my Python skills a little bit. I found the flag and yeah, I was able to make this video. So if you want to see more Try Hack Me Rooms, please leave a comment, let me know. Um, and you know, next week I will be at Wild West Hack and Fest and hopefully I'll get back to posting more after that. I have a really great long series that I'm gonna be um, doing too. So hopefully, you know, if you're subscribed, um, thank you and please like this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.